<laughs> All right, it should come in. Try to come in. You're dead. You're dead when I get you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this one's safe because there's only three of us, so we can do three full readings. That's okay? Yeah. So this time you're having ten cards instead of three. So you get your past, present, and future, further into the future. And if, I think I'm going to come to you first. Okay. And then I'll come to Jill and Julie. I'll put yeah. you last. So right. <laughs> see, I could have done the best last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this time, instead of just picking three, you're still going to pick from anywhere. Yeah. You're going to pick ten cards and you're going to put them all down like that. Okay. Anywhere in the pack. Right. Okay. I was doing the reading for now I'm gonna shut up because get a few times on night off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now, I think I have my nerves quite well on the last one. Could it? I kept my nerves quite well. Oh, did well. you? It, it was quite fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I was uh, going to say, it looked quite busy. The, the one gentleman, it was like, I could feel the energy coming in, and eventually the blood did speak, but he chose to go for the other girl until we hit points on where we were. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're like this, you, you're telling spirit, bug off, yeah, I don't yeah. want to know. I think he let his guard down a little bit, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. once he knew who come through, which I thought was my dad. Right. But he was saying, see nothing now. Mm. But he knew that he did come through whether he wanted them or not, and the love came with that. Yeah, yeah. Right, mm. so we're starting off here. Maybe I should have shown the Brimming Cards a lot of in the bottom down. You need one of them little stamp things, don't yeah, you? Yeah, right, so that's Helen's cards. There we go. Right, so there's people already commenting. <laughs> so, right. Evening all, officer. I forgot the Canadian as well. Right. Yeah. Eh? I forgot the Canadian. Yes. Partnerships and alliances. So, this is within the business, but it's extending more into the business. So the more you're doing at the moment anyway, and the more education you're having, it shows with this new steps coming forward. This will be more pushing towards a bigger shop than you've got now. Because I think you can knock out the chip, you're like still... Cool. You know, <laughs> leave your chippy, it's really off. <laughs> so we'll have to extend towards the tea room. Okay, cool. So, but you've got a lot, lot of more things coming forward, but there's more finances coming in forward. So you're going to be expanding soon. Okay. As we're doing that, we're going to start charging the head. So you've certainly worked hard enough for it, and it's about time it paid you back. So you've got some lovely days coming up. And there's nothing negative in the card, it just shows the triumph and as you're lifting for it. As we jump a bit, we have the emotional loss. This is knowing that we have having loved ones in spirit. As more it feels like we've lost them, they're not coming back. The way the echo goes there, uh, they're always right beside us. Lady was in the moment. She said she did. So uh, she was um, one of these ladies, she never stopped. Even before she died, she said, okay. So if I'm not in a mood I am on a family link with her. Uh, okay. Why have you been knocking yourself down? So you've got so much energy moving forward and it's all positive. And she says, everything's going forward. But you've got doubts and some things in their life, you know. But you're doing an absolutely fantastic job. It goes for that ripping world of light, are we moving up or going down? But your green light is showing it's all moving forward. you just got to tell a few people to wear it off <laughs> and then start enjoying what's coming ahead. But you, everything you're doing, you're doing it right. 
but you've got to try and get some sleep at night because you're like a headless chicken. You don't switch off even when you go home. And I know you do a lot of things there anyway, but even when you're trying to go to sleep, you plan the next bloody day and what's coming up forward. But you need some time for you as well. which is more of the um, we're escaping we're not business we're not working we're just us it's more of a family car and it's a family car as well but it just shows where the car's been changed around you so there's lots of energy that was here but this lady she didn't seem negative if she did she spoke okay. so she wouldn't show her anything if someone needed to sort it out she would be sorted and pretty much just the same in yourself, you get things done. But you have to slow down to a point where it's like, I'm knackered. But she's, she's not exactly giving you a bollocking, which usually spirits love to do. But it's kind of like giving you that reassurance that everything's going absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. And you need these little gaps where it goes quiet to allow you to focus and build them all up. But you should be branching out more and getting more things out of it as well. So. Okay, no one said you'd be rich overnight, but she said you should have been rich by now. <laughs> so she's certainly trying to get some money on the cards so for you. So once I've done these, we're going to come on to your apartment. She said there isn't money lying there, and you deserve it. Okay. She's not giving me a real on this, but she is taking me towards her right hip. So I've got some discomfort coming in here. It's like I've had a fall. And the way the kind of grief gave, it was like, as much as she tried to struggle on moving, forward it's so bloody hurt at times there's a gentleman standing beside her he's quite tall and his height but the same amount of hair as me which is done <coughs> but he kind of looks like you no, not the grim reaper um you know like when they do the um in the funeral homes <coughs> paul burns on it it kind of looks like one of them so i'm very smart dressed with this man i'm very much a businessman and i could make money i could make money work but money and you have to spend it to make it. Okay, he's rubbing his hands together so he sees things coming in for you. But he's also making me aware how he can kind of collapse as well. So I'm either in the bathroom or I'm in the kitchen, but there's that around me, and it's like a sudden heart attack. I don't feel the heart, I killed him straight away. He did actually get to hospital by the sound of it. But he's planning going out in the morning, and God kind of said, Nah, come on, you're coming up here. So, I mean, when the dad's link or when the granddad's link, though, this gentleman. Again, I won't put your parents in spirit. It is against the law, so. I can't mention last week's with the um, taser. It's not been loving it, isn't it, anyway? <laughs> 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 I'm not getting tired of that one. But he doesn't show that he died straight away. He showed that he did get to hospital before he died. But he wasn't ill long before he died, if that makes sense mm -hmm. to you. Is it Doug Grandad? Do you know where he's going? He's going mm -hmm. He is a stunning bugger at times. Mm -hmm. Easy to talk to when you want you to talk. Mm -hmm. But if he was watching a film, that would say you should up and the, the volume goes up as well. Mm -hmm. So, well, are you going home yet? I'm trying to play tally. So, when he wanted to relax, that was his time and not everybody else's time to do, go to the mm -hmm. But he shows he was a grafter and he worked hard. Mm -hmm. I can only put the lady that's been his wife because she seems a lot smaller than he is. Mm. But God, she wore the trousers when she needed to. Mm. He knew when he was in the wrong because he wouldn't get no food on his plate for that evening. So you wouldn't want to argue with that. Mm. Okay. But she's got you could sort of beat yourself up. The anxiety, I feel that's like coming around yourself because my heart now is like just feeling so much stress coming on it. And it's like, just let it go. If you can't change what has happened, Therefore, don't let it hold you back. Because when it holds you back, it takes over your whole life. Are the migraines coming in with you, or this coming in with somebody else in the family now? But somebody who's alive, but the pounding in the head is quite unbearable. Do you know where that comes in? Mm -hmm. Is that you yourself, or? No, not me. Right, they just want to put some healing around this person. Because they're really giving themselves a hard time. And the migraines are just putting them in where they can feel sick. So they're just going to, like, cut some of the crap back from there and just hand them their life back. 
So the love that we go with that is making them stronger. And come back onto your cards. The suffering and silence. Now this goes way into the past. So this will be a relationship that wasn't the most golden relationship. And rather speaking, no, you just get your head down and you just sit with your head out. Don't leave your symbols and you move forward. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So and you're certainly doing a lot better in that moving forward than what you were in the past. I mean, it wasn't easy. The sacrifice. This time you have to cut off some of the loose ends. So this is letting all of the negative, the stress and the crap go beneath you and below you to allow you to keep rising up. The rainbow in the card shows you've cut a lot of negative away, but you are starting to branch out and move forward. Okay. You just showed me a dog that was hit by a car. I'm not going to get your dog on over. Mm -hmm. Do you have a dog that went to spirit that was hit mm -hmm. by a car? So it's still bouncing around. No, the dog was mad. Mm -hmm. And it would just like, it didn't, it didn't have a road sense like die dogs. It was like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to be chasing the car wheel, but the wheel kind of caught me this time. But the love that come, it's not Golden Labrador, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of coming through as like a bouncer out of a neighbour's back in the day. <laughs> But this time, you know, <laughs> this time just like, it's just, it's a place. But, but I want to say I went quick. I probably cost you a bit of money, but I went quick, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But the love that comes from the dog is the love that you need back with, within yourself as well. And just keeping you glowing. Now we've already got the marriage part sorted. So the financial and material changes. Material speaks to yourself with the shop you're doing, other things that you're creating. But the, or the other changes coming in is how you're branching out and moving more forward. So either having our wedding, wedding vows renewed or the changes around the wedding, around the marriage to kind of make it things more. That's a big word. What's eccentric mean? Eccentric. Yeah. Is um, that good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's <coughs> technical words. Yeah. Julie, I just like, I don't want to fuck that. <laughs> so, no, I've had my ideas and that. Yeah. yeah, so you're going on a wild journey with the marriage, but it's just, it's on the up, but it's things that are coming in to making it more events and getting out of them. So it's, you know it's going to be written in lights in a sense. That's not really like chasing you with the tax man. It's just everything coming forward. <laughs> <for you. laughs> so, but, yeah, there's such a lot of love in just your few cards, but only the one that kind of shows we've been there <coughs> and look where we are now. Let's <coughs> move forward. As we move forward, we get the fresh air. This is where, when I tune into spirit, you get your um, your clairvoyance, clairsentience, and clairvoyance. Mm -hmm. So your clairvoyance comes from the ears, but you open your throat chakra up, so you're communicating. Mm -hmm. So we're speaking more clearly, getting more ideas there. And when people are saying no to you, keep pushing forward. Can you get them yeses as well? So let's get more of that team playing going. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's somebody annoying you constantly, but you're kind of nipping it in the butt now, if that makes sense to you. So I don't know if I'm on family, a friend, or when you go to shop. But it's an, they don't buy anything, they come in <laughs> and they, they're annoying. <laughs> That's quite <a> few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's a genuine reason behind it, mm. so, but there's no quality in the shop, it's more the jealousy side, and mm. you're doing what they should be doing, but they ain't got the books to do it, so, eventually they're not going to come and buy your route, but they will come and buy most of your stock, so they're just trying to see the right thing. Okay. You can like screw the negatives, if it could be a that hell day. Mm. So keep pushing you can't really draw back in the field car park, yeah. The team is bigger premises this year. So but it's moving you where you, where you want to be. Your dream is growing. Mm. It's, it's gonna get bigger. You just need a room to put it. I don't think the out outs are gonna be enough to solve everything that you got at home. <laughs> so we need to expand on that one. The passion they said that this comes with the financial material changes, so it's it's a marriage relationship, but it's being time infused as much as both work and your own separate jobs. So we need to keep the love there and keep the fun going, and having the time out together. It's a bloody time. 
So you're not getting much time to enjoy the matters because it's just work and I'm just being naked. So it's having time for each other. Are they making sense on that one? Mm -hmm. So as we move forward, rejoice and celebration. So either you're celebrating how long in business, does people come together for a christening or a marriage? But everyone's coming together for, at the moment for an anniversary. There's something coming up that's quite, quite good, quite big, but it's enjoying the kind of time together. Mm -hmm. So I could be sending the husband out and everyone getting drunk with the night. Mm -hmm. But this is coming around any time between September and mm -hmm. oh, We're back in. There we go, Joe, we'll just put you on there. <laughs> right, we'll come back to um, Helen first. Okay, so our final card is the destiny. So the life and love around you is to be moved forward. But it's being happy in your heart as well as making nobody else happy. But I don't know what big it is. What's a bigot? Stop, stop listening to bigots. Is that irritating people? I think so. Bigot, yeah, I think so, isn't it? Yeah. Bigots are people who have they're just their own perceived idea about things. And they don't like other people having They don't ideas. like having their own. They don't yeah, like other people having opinions. They've got yeah, they only want to voice their own opinions. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you stop listening to bigots. I take the notice of bigots anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never listen to them. I'm going to put granted on as having a lot of influential. Start off with these big words. <laughs> that would be my granddad for yeah. you. <laughs> he knew what he wanted to say, but he said it in such a way it made sense. Mm. But he said he's got plenty more words he could give me, but he said you, you wouldn't you wouldn't know how to pronounce them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know the meaning, my pronouncing them. <laughs> a very intellectual man. Mm. If he was in the army, he would have won your sergeants mm. because he, he had that voice, the deepness, and he knew how to tell people off. Mm. But he did it in a good way. Mm. Things were just meant to be strict, fair, but right on. And that's how business works. Mm. It's being cruel, but being kind. We're going to see your part. Are you left or right? I'm right. I'm right. So you're employed, so you're okay on that part. And they are both absolutely balanced, so you don't need to be given orders. You should be doing my job because you're very spiritual. You know when to come around here. Your heart is coming in here. We have a lady who went spirit with cancer coming in just there. going back to about 21, 22, I would say. And moving forward, we've got one, two, three. Bloody hell. There's five, like what, we, what I would call sudden deaths. So that's when mm -hmm. people have gone, they've not been ill long enough before they've died. Mm -hmm. So you've gone for your fair share of the meal, and it's kind of like, bloody hell, who's next? So, but you, your head's kind of more strong now. The deaths haven't gone behind you because we are now moving forward. You've gone through this little curve here, and what we spoke about the other day when people were nothing up, but we move forward and it's like, everybody else, it's my life and I'm enjoying it. So there's nothing negative there. Your heart line, your heart line, headline, as you come down with your headline. Okay. You, you do your heart and your sleep, but you kind of also let things get you down at times. You see where we're sloping down there? Mm -hmm. So business wise, you know what you want and you know how you're moving forward, but it's the changes you're making with it. But the kind of a health line that comes in here, which means you haven't been in the strongest of health of late, you've had some issues going on, but you managed to deal with it. There's nothing negative there when, mm. like, we need hospital. It's just kind of getting your own batteries recharged and building back up. Your lifeline has been kind of a, a chaotic roller coaster. But it's moved more now towards the positive, but stepping away from the crap that life has thrown at you. There's someone you want to give a slap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's something then, it's like. Pff, yeah. If we just give a, just give her one tack and the back really calm down a bit a little bit. So you're a deep thinker and you you like to charge your head with what you do. You do have a lot of patience as well. So it may not be the same on the marital front, but when you're working how things are moving forward, you have the patience to get through and make it go. And you're thinking side so this is the logical side. I have a relationship here that was like it was there, but it wasn't, that makes sense. But I have one now, which is actually, it bounces forward. You do help other 
with here we have them to say do you know what piss off this is my life and i'm going to do what i want you you can make your own bed okay your money lines are coming in towards february next year and you kind of got one coming here but you should be already had it or you got one still coming in so they just want some money on your on your palm there always comes in handy okay and health line fate line spiritual line you're like a roller coaster you kind of need to just you have your hand back so you get <laughs> <laughs> uh, as it's coming in there it just needs to like you need some time for you there's so much crap going on around you that it, it stops your focus on what you're actually doing in life but as you move forward you're going to find it will change with you but it's looking more to the positive and kicking the negative so does that make sense mm -hmm. yeah lovely okay okay all right jill I if i i'll you. i'll come and join you over that side before you start yeah because i kept having a look on that every <laughs> When yeah. you were on the third card, I saw a little orb in the corner over there. And what's that? A little light. Oh, right. Yeah. So we'll watch it back. Mm -hmm. There you go, your loved ones are coming back. Not mm -hmm. only are they around... No, you, you were on the third card and I just sort of looked, because I could see it moving up with the card. Yeah. Effect, and then over where that um, like mermaid yeah. thing is. Yeah. <laughs> is that yeah. suffering silence, was it, the third card? Was it? Yeah. So that's where you're living in spirit, it's like... Yeah, and it's just it's back in a white light in the corner. Right. <laughs> if anyone sees any spiritual activity in the room, put your comment on. <laughs> you can turn it off me now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just thought I'd tell you that before I forget. Right, Jill, we're coming over to your side. <laughs> I've moved over right at the moment. <laughs> Everybody coming on your side next. Oh. Are you happy with your spread? Yes, yes, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and to those thinking, I wish I had gone down. You're more than welcome. Ain't got much time left, but you could have, you could also have been here and enjoyed a psychic night. So look out for the next one that we do. Share, yeah, share. Hi, right, Jill. You're gonna pick ten cards in the pack, and I'm gonna. Bring me a cup of tea over. I wonder if anyone noticed that light in the one. So if I watch right. it back, do you think I'll see um, it? You should do. Sure, because it was on there. Right. Because I could see it moving and, I, and it was the comments. And then right. all of a sudden I saw the light over there. Mm. Okay. Like that. Really? Wow. Wow. Let's see your first card gives us. Let's see what they say. And they're just saying they're watching, watching. Watching. Uh, watching. Feel free to say hello. We're at County Chicks and Count. Country Cheek Interiors. Country Cheek Interiors and Open Gates. <laughs> so from Monday to Friday, are you open on Sunday? Tuesday to Saturday, 9.30 <laughs> to 4.30. Listen to the owner, not me. <laughs> Homemade wraps. <laughs> Lots of <laughs> Good Come prices. <laughs> Coming in, am I? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. And for those in my circle, we'll be going live soon. <laughs> so, <laughs> enjoy. One, two, three, five. It's okay. See, as soon as I talk... <laughs> <laughs> right, just fucking change the energy of Helen Seals. We're going to start <coughs> your on first. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like your heart line is here. You've had some stress to do, haven't you? You quite a, sh a stubborn person at times. You say what you need to. I bet you're in great with your this month. <laughs> Never met her. Never met her. You probably uh, you, you'd have off the talk. <laughs> There's a few that you'd like to put your hands around the necks at times. Right, your heart like coming in here. So, okay, we're starting okay. We're getting towards 20, 20, 23 of there. Where it's going to start taking a bit of a step back in your life. Just before we do have one person do the guest very quickly. 
That's a little dot that comes in here. As we're moving forward, you kind of took a downhill slope, and it's like, I've had enough for the moment. So you've had to pick yourself back up. And you pick yourself back up the second one, you decided, yeah, that might going to get to a bit. And it really does have nothing to fair. I want to go close relatives with these. As we're moving forward again, then things, as you start to find your feet, so it kind of went in and went, do you know what? And it kind of knocked you off your feet for a bit. Life kind of like finished. For those watching, this is a hard line we're going through. Which is that one. And then as life did start to move forward, you become all focused now, but you're putting you in place now, and not everybody else. So we're moving up. We've had society that's come out of the first life, you know what? Just leave me alone for a bit. You need time for you to kind of get back outside and start living again. It is nice staying indoors in this weather when it's raining, but you do need to be your old self and start smashing the walls and enjoying life. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The early start of life, it wasn't handed on a plate for you. You really had to just get a thing where you can make your own life and make it work for you. Where I get like the really the big gap here, it's like, it's not as much a wide berth in the family, but it's where if you wanted it, you had to get out and work it and learn how to do it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. As we're moving forward, we're having no major issues on your headline. You get a little bit. What's the word? I was like frustrated. Some people are really good time for you. You want to find advice on what to do to the best for them. And the more you have that love out to them, the more they're like, throw it back in your face. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you kind of feel like, what is the point of even trying to help you? And you you got a very loose tongued person here because there's someone it's like they're an ungrateful little mm -hmm. and so there's someone didn't realise how much you've actually done for them but like a bit, when they throw their rat out of that they're a right snapdragon I don't know if it comes in the family but they look, I want to say it's a, a female I am outnumbered here but she really needs to get her head out of the sand and start seeing what she's doing and how you're trying to help does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, but at the moment, you are pushing things forward. So you're coming away from the anxiety and distress, and it's like, do you know what? If you need me, I'm here. So you've had to say something all times, and you don't like being nasty to me, you don't like speaking your mind, but if it didn't piss you off, you wouldn't need to say it. Does that make sense there to you? As your life client comes in, I want to put family quite close to you. So your family got around you, your top priority, but there's other friends that become family because they kind of give you the respect that you deserve at the time. It's like you're helping them, but the friends never turn them when you need some bloody help. Things kind of go a little astray there. I just want to bring grandchildren in. So I've been kind of child now, but there's a great... I'm only put you at 21, thank you. It keeps me safe. But the coming to grandchildren, so I've got a great child. No. I'd like to say you're too young to be a great grandma. I am. So, but unless you are just a great grandma, I think you're great. But there's grandchildren that want to not coming around. So, if you're not heard about it yet, provided they're over the legal age in this country, <laughs> you'll get that used to come in. But the same is here around you. I have a lot of love that goes out to. See, normally I say relationship, but I want to put it to spirit there. A lot of love goes out into spirit, if that makes sense to you. And you've got two me over that side that should have been over here. We had one gentleman particularly who was quite young. He said, I didn't get to me good old age 60 years, so I went younger than that. And it would have been nice if it was the 80 and 90, but I didn't quite make 60. So he's a bit cheesed off with life that he was taken too soon. He had plans and got a double plans. Okay. He's just going to pipe down for a moment because you're going to get cramp in your end soon. You've actually learned to say no. No to people, which is not an easy thing to do. If you've been for a long time, you should say no and sort their own shit out. But you've actually decided to say, do you know what? It doesn't matter me. As long as you're happy and your family are happy, sod the rest. It doesn't mean you're not there for people, but you've certainly had to say no. Right, I can't see a money line, so I can't switch. <laughs> I can only apologise on that one. <laughs> So I can give you your hand back now. Thank you. It's a good foot to pack. Stop now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, the evening I finished. <laughs> Donations well, <laughs> gratefully accepted. <laughs> so, the love that comes around, it's the gentleman's love that comes around you at the moment. So I don't know if we're fitting in between partner, I won't kill him because it's against the law. But if I am in the spirit of it, that it's a male energy that comes. Well, that's somebody coming in there. Right, come in a bit closer. Okay. You don't need a tick enough because you do too much good. But you are too open and you're too caring sometimes. And that generally fires back at you because when you say the right thing, they're all listening. When it goes to it, so you'll get the blame. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm not as very frustrated when you're doing everything to help people and they just appreciate it. He'd like to give a few people a bit of a slap because you should be getting that for a chance to enjoy life and be a bit more, you know. I have a, a stress-free day, but they keep bringing the crap to your door at times and you just don't want to hear it sometimes. It's bickering within the family is what I feel. And it's a bickering that's coming in, it's like trying to drag you into it and it's like, you know what, sort it. But you will listen to both sides of a problem. He'll only just charge you and they kind of say, you're fucked up, sort it, if that makes sense to you. I don't know where his energy fits in around you at the moment. I felt, I didn't feel I was that's what this man felt I'm a lot younger than that. So I'm not trying to pay you off on that one. But I want to be between 45 to 47. That will make him 46. But something with 46 when this person went to spirit. Is it dad who's gone to spirit or? So I'm trying not to put your husband there. Dad's in spirit, yeah. Dad's in spirit. How are things with the partner? Because the energy is confusing here. So you. you Partner still with you? You've not killed him? No. Not yet. Him. <laughs> He's not under the pack yet. yet. No. <laughs> so, right. So, okay, so why are you giving, why are you keep giving me the partner? Because you can be an annoying stubborn bugger. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Sure? If it doesn't, then I can. So if this is where Dad's talking, I got a million. See, it wasn't too big on the words on that one. I understood, I understood <laughs> what he was saying. Okay. So it's like Jack and Hyde. Because I've been trying to try your partner. I'm trying to see your partner as a lovely man, the heart of gold there for everyone. But I'm getting a Jack and Hyde. So one minute I can be absolutely lovely. But when I've got to be in my bonnet, I'm a Jack and being married in miserable. So I'm and that's what your dad's trying to describe to me, somebody around you. So if it's not your partner, we'll leave him being his nice self. But there's somebody there, male energy, that's going to be like pain in the arse around you. That just needs a bit of sort your shit out. So you understand that that one is? <laughs> okay. There was a lady that wants to draw near to you, but she's not... Um, Kind of sixty sun coming in, sugar and spice and all things nice. I think it's sixties. But there's music that comes in with her. It's switching up the outside noises. Listen to a bit of music. I just want to be dancing with this lady. So either she knows to dance or she loves watching watch dancing. But her passion is just smiling and seeing the best of people. She could have a cold shoulder when she needed to behind that closed door. But for what people in the world saw was a lovely lady with a lot of passion. She, she, she kind of, it feels like a brain hemorrhage with her because there's a lot of pain that comes from the right side of the brain and I've either had a full crack and I've knocked my head or she really suffered a migraine hard but she doesn't have them now I'm, from what I'm getting from her when she took the tablet she would rattle it was one and two tablets a night to take so, and she didn't know what hospital was before it got confusing for her her marble art was still on the shelf one used to go along there somewhere else. I knew who I was talking to and what I'm talking about. She gives me that when she did pass, I felt I didn't like him with this lady. I felt more immune hospital or a rendy, like one of the care places. So, but I didn't feel I died on my own because there's somebody holding my hand and stroking my ring. 
I just heard how that sounded. But you know, you, you know what I mean yeah. on that one. <laughs> so she's got her hand being held. I'm also feeling I'm leading into somebody. So wherever this lady's taking me, the love that she had around her the day she died, she wasn't on her own when she went. So she wasn't. She said I wasn't found gone. There was just people there. Does that make sense? No, that one doesn't make sense. Right. Do you know why she was have people around her? Did you give me the reverse effect of what happened? Um, I haven't got anyone close to female that I've lost. Right. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. It's nice to keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going? Okay. Right. Just stay on. Helen, can you take a lady? She did get to a reasonably good age when she went to Spirit. She wasn't on her own. And it felt more like the seven hospice or a nice part of the hospital. But I've got love around me. I've got my hands being held. And I've been held by someone. Mm. That comes on your side. Mm. So although I've come over to yourself, Helen Spirit's come around to talk to you. The one saying, hi Helen, how are you doing? <laughs> it's like, I'll go, I'll go and talk to Jill first and I'll come back to you. <laughs> so she knows a lot about you, and but her love is there. So if Barbara did kind of roll off the shelf occasionally, then she sees you, sees you better this way than sitting over by Jill here. So she'll turn around to yourself now. But there's a lot of love and a lot of fun to people that was around her side. Because she didn't go on her own. And she knew people. Yeah, that's what cared for her. There's a pipe on Well, if that's the booking for later, then the video's working well. <laughs> <laughs> so the lady we've got is over for Helen. So I'll give the ladies love. Okay. She's quite an emotional lady. She's kind of got this sorrow there, she's like crying. So as strong as she may have been, she was strong to others, or she wasn't strong in herself. And if she was going to cry, it was done in her own time and not for others to see. So she liked to show more of a confident side to herself. But, and realising how many people did love and were there for her, shows her that she was a really fantastic lady. Bit not with the tongue at times, she says. But her love was always winning the best for people. She's a bit like yourself, it's seen the best. But her love is is very strong. It just took a few minutes to get round to you. So. <laughs> right, Joe, back onto you. <laughs> you knew who the gentleman was. I think so. Yeah. Right. I can't think where he was going now. Let's all just sit inside and have a power nap. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite exhausting. <laughs> I did have my power nap. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Right. The gentleman will have plenty to say. And give me a few things that are going on around you, but there's no one else drawing up next to him. What are you done to him? <laughs> Frightened him all off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to your cards, and if they come back, he's, he's standing there, so I've said my piece. What more do you want me to say? <laughs> so it's kind of like you've got your chin up, girl. Enjoy where things are going, but your cards are going to show a different path. Right, sacral chakra. So this one has comes in above your base chakra, which is where your tail will be. Your your belly button is your solar plexus, and your sacral is just below that, which is your pubic bone. This shows the love and the passion that you still have in your life. And as much as people kind of know you at times, you know that others around you. But the love that comes with that is very supportive and very caring. So, you do still have that power in your belly, and when you need to speak out, you don't mind saying it. That makes sense. And your wisdom is knowing what's ahead of you. And you've got a good head on your shoulders. 
and you know when people are trampled all over your lives because you see them a mile off. So how's it shows in the future? This is either a move that you've done or a move that you may be going into. I'm not putting you into care, you're only 21. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly shows the house, the foundation, and everything sort around you. It wasn't easy, but you've seen a lot of things in a short time. But you've certainly got life going where you wanted it. Because somebody should have come through and he's standing there, but he doesn't know when to step up. So, but it's like, I'm here. I just don't know what I'm meant to say yet. So you've got two male energies with you. Okay. He's going outside for a fag, so clearly he would have probably liked the smoke. Because we're not a fag, I'm holding a pipe. But he, he's chewing on something, like chewing tobacco or something. So, but he just stepped back outside a minute. He's got a cap on, he wore glasses. He was not very tall, but, and he was kind of a slim build as well. But, and it's, it's like more like a country accent, which I don't think I'm going towards that you may find it. Well, I'm, that kind of, his accent isn't healthy, it's not healthy. There's a bit of a ting in his own voice there. He ain't got the hell a clue what this is that we're doing. You can see cars on the table, he knows he's come to see people and it's all spiritual and it's like, yep, yeah, I ain't got a clue. But this, I know this love that comes from him because it took me a long time to really get here. So he wasn't the best on his legs when he was walking. And he walked out quicker for his junior back than he did walking in. <laughs> Why are you giving me that one? Okay. Have you uh, a brother in spirit? They don't seem very old in your family. So, I want to put him up of a nice age, but they don't look old. That makes sense to you. <laughs> so, you could easily take 20 years off him because he kept himself so bloody active. So, he had such a high energy, but his walking got a little bit limited and that kind of annoyed him because he couldn't do all the things that he used to. But he very much liked to be, I would say, a man of the hour. I could sit down, I could dod the back legs off you, but I could also have a drink with you as well. So, um, I don't know, it's kind of quite... Did you see that one then? What's that? There's a flash just gone behind. No, because <laughs> I was going that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> In a different direction there. So, they certainly you know, got a spirit that just showed himself behind you. I want to... Okay. Do you look at this? Yeah. Right, because it's not just a white feather I get different bloody colours with you. But you have lots of different love that comes down and each feather kind of represents the mood you're in. If you were to read colours, it'd be like, well, I'm feeling a bit blue today, so you can wear a power drop on your head. <laughs> but the colours they give you, it's all different mood swings and variations. So you're up and down like a yo-yo sometimes and your head's like, do you know what, I just need to switch off for a minute. But the reason they give many feathers it's a different levels in the family from original brothers, mothers, dads, and all the rest. But the energies of yourself where they're coming in, the stronger the feather, these high drop of the family. And when you're a certain feather, you know you're in trouble. That's like granddad, great granddad would come in and say, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I don't think you'll get that one. But you just need to not let pins get on your chest so much and knock you down in yourself. This is going deep to the past, there's something in silence. I feel now you do speak out when you're sad, and you don't, you don't say a lot that you should say, you're like inside, but you shouldn't be in silence, it's upsetting you. It's, yeah, it's not easy, it's having the balls to say it. Confronting situations so you're feeling more loved and happy. Does that make sense? Are we all watching the camera now? <laughs> so you're saying like, <laughs> do you remember that card's coming in? Yeah. Hope. We well, had something in silence, we're moving to hope. And the energy coming through the card in itself there. It shows that the spirit are always around you. You're protected by love and light, and you have some really nice people in spirit. You had a tough life winter spirit, by the sounds of it, but he's kind of been kept out of the way. So there wasn't always a positive energy that's been around you, one that kind of, I don't like this feeling. 
but that spirit can kind of move that away quickly. We don't need Linguans. I move them all the time from houses and the one that wants to come close to you. Which, do you remember in the last one when I said we had the one called the Shadow? Mm -hmm. And it's a similar energy. So I think it was a family member that was there. But the energy that was, it wasn't, you knew when you walked into a certain room it did not feel nice. And that energy, it made its presence when you went through a time of darkness in your own life and depression came in. And this energy kind of manifested itself. But he's been taken out with a kick up the arse and got by the air hole. So you don't need to be in silence from him, because he's no longer going to be there. But yeah, use your time to piss off. Your spirit gets too much and you're feeling it, you're like, just do what. So you're very strong, you're spiritually and physically connected. <coughs> the Solitude card. This is how we write in your book. And we can never change what's happened in the past, which kind of comes off that card there. We can make sure our future is written better for us and we do what we want to do and bring your life forward and as you move forward you see the love the hope the light that comes around it and it just keeps you traveling in the right direction this gives you the intuition so we're saying pretty positive on your cards no need to be doing stop putting things on hold if this card comes in and you know that there's something you seen the doctors, don't put things off. You don't really like the doctors that much because they're paying in the arse and getting an appointment's a nightmare. But if you feel like you're often a bit blue yourself, a bit low, get seen, get checked, move forward. Yeah, that's where your stubbornness comes in. I ain't got bloody time for this. But the love that comes around you is keeping you focused and keeping you safe and well. The new beginnings, how we move forward in life. Set a path, get a target. No means just go day by day. Plan for the future, you've got a long one ahead of you. But, and that doesn't mean you've got to be punished like the rest of us in this life. But it means enjoying changes coming around you. I start living for you and you find out I'm making life be more loving rather than just, well, I'm ready for bed now, I don't know. <laughs> you know? So keep wearing that smile. In mental conflict. Now this usually comes in as a mother in law card. So we'll keep her safe. But this is where there's always someone who's got a six pence to just throw in and make make things go tits up around us. But, but don't listen. If you're here, do everything. It's only when we contradict ourselves and it feels more crap and downhill. But with the card, Switch off the, the bad thoughts, the past, the negatives. Focus on where future is, and where it's going. All the yeah. And the triumph, as you put the old, the old you to bed, and the stress and the crap that was behind it, you move forward knowing that every day is an opportunity. You move with love, you move with light, and you have that spiritual love around you. And it's known that they'll always draw near to you. You'll be quite good in my circle. Because there's a lot of spirit that do want to speak to you and kind of come through. But generally they can't get away in edgeways. Because when you are talking, you don't stop. So you're pretty quiet tonight. <laughs> she's not normally quiet. Yeah. Normally she's got a hell of a lot to say. She's listening. <laughs> that makes a change. So, I don't know you really well. <laughs> And our final card is the financial and material changes. A few times you know that card has. Yeah. At least the fertility card hasn't come out yet. Yeah, exactly. It's and so I don't think it's not too much, just me. It would be our God help us. <laughs> it came out quite a lot in the last one, and there's yeah. a reason for it. Right it hasn't come out tonight. <laughs> oh, Julie, you are next. <laughs> <laughs> this is enjoying life. It's enjoying the marriage, the relation, it's enjoying the family. But it's showing there's, there's no crap, there's no stress. Any issues, insecurities, you'll be prepared. But you're smiling, keep wearing your heart on your shoulder, and enjoying the life ahead. It hasn't been a walk in the park, but it's a lot better, a lot smoother, and a lot more loving for you. And although you don't have a lady close to you in spirit, there's a lady that's to give you a love. You should have felt your love by now. 
Sorry. Have you felt your love coming from the lady yet? Uh, I've just gone cold from head to toe. I've just right. gone cold as well. Yeah. So she's certainly bringing a love. I'm I was literally just watching my hands, my uh, my hair. My shoulders are all down my back, and I thought. <laughs> literally, and I'm sitting there just watching them, thinking, okay. In fact, this has happened a few us. times. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're certainly bringing that love behind the table. Have you enjoyed your read? Yes, I have. Thank you. All right. If you can read my cards, and we'll try and get a different set of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, I wasn't watching it when you said that there was something. Uh, Karen, yeah, I was thinking of coming tonight. I'm glad I didn't know because I knew it would be live. And I'm out. Because what? Because she knew it, she didn't know it would be live. So she's relieved that she didn't because it was being recorded. You've enjoyed it, Karen. Next time. <laughs> when the next one's on, come along. All we have to do is get them early, so you're running late, so they shop in the shop. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Hidden agenda. Well, I want to buy them little cows. <laughs> oh, the naughty one. Yes, yes. That's I, I noticed them. I noticed them. I'm going to buy them for my daughter. I said, are they meant to be like that? Yeah, a bit sense of humour in the shop. Yeah. Then she picked them up. I'm going to buy them for my daughter and my son in the office. <laughs> if it wasn't so dark, you would have noticed some very sense of humour cushions in the window as well. Oh, and the shop all comes with sense of humour. You need to work next door to us. <laughs> right, Julie, and I'm going to come down to you around. Ten. Ten. Oh, you get a ten from Len. He's finished now, has he? Yeah. Who? Len Goodman, is it? He used to be on the um, trip come dancing. Oh, no, Roy. He's nice packed it in, nice hasn't watching, he? Watching. I think I've come in tonight and I'm glad. You're doing fine, Karen. You could have done some readings for me. Sleep and then yeah, they get so it's worse than the other days, isn't it? So, she's doing it on school night. Kate's got a black nose and it just stops sitting people, sending messages, um, and chatting away all night to her and like to sleep. Mm. Right, we're going to see your palm. All right, Julie, you need to be turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Julie needs <laughs> she, She's terrible. She <laughs> Julie needs turning on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> turned on now. <laughs> Yeah, you're safe going. <laughs> <laughs> right, then, your heart line. Okay. So we're starting off okay. This is where we had a few issues early on in life where mm. it wasn't so rosy for you. It's yeah. so where we had the, um, our first sudden death that we can see you. Vince did you really dark there as well, a few of the darkness comes in. As we're moving forward, we've got one, two, three, three, yeah. five more, they've gone two spirit, but they've been more like, not as much sudden, it's been kind of like going through the sale mm. and going through the emotions yeah. as well. And then we kind of thought, stop this, I mean, you kind of just switch off in your own direction now, so you're still not sure which job you're going to be in. You like the one you're in? Mm. <laughs> I do. You do? She does like a job. <laughs> you got a little bit there that kind of said, Oh, you know, the itchy feet have been there. Mm. But everything's going there as it should be now. And the anxiety levels have really moved forward and we're getting more open now, more mm. relaxed. So life has certainly turned out for the better. Stress is now behind you. Are they? <laughs> the negative ones are. The everyday stress, they just keep coming and going. 
but they're putting no health issues there or anything else. So things are actually, you're coping with mm. what things have been, but you're certainly more branching out now. Mm. I can't do the other one. No, no, no. <laughs> Someone's cheering me here. Can I see his boss? Right, before Julie gets cramped, and I just... <laughs> right, so, your headline coming in here. I just want you to relax, being a twisty arm man. It's like I've got a bad arm, you see, so that's what you're Right, okay. Right. <laughs> we'll just pull your leg. Right, your headline is more... You are getting more focused. You've had this kind of, which way do I go? Mm -hmm. And you're kind of pushing more towards what makes you feel more comfortable. The, the loo in here is that usual crap and it keeps coming back and spreading mm -hmm. but a lot of it is moving forward now because you know how you need things to be. You have spoke to your mind fairly recently and give someone a bit of uh, medicine mm -hmm. and told them what you think. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the energy comes in, you're with his family or not, but they get close and you're kind of like ready to <laughs> give them the, um, the old <laughs> knock them off the cliff. Yeah. The love around you is really good. Everything's perfect there because you work as a team and you have. You actually have learned that to say no. So mm -hmm. you've not been there with Bacchus so much and stressing yourself. Mm -hmm. Julie's getting some of her life back again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel <laughs> like it, but it's getting, there. it's getting there. You have got a money line that comes in. So enjoy that when it comes. You've got 50p coming. <laughs> remember your friends, Julie. Remember your friends. <laughs> Your life is a lot more focused now than where life was because it was very dark and very kind of like mm. disturbed but you kind of kick that to the side. Mm -hmm. so I'm smiling to see what's from the next talk. Mm. And I'm thinking... I've had some with it all day. I'm now I'm going for me tea. <laughs> right. Half line, it kind of comes in there but it's nothing you can't handle. And your fate line is coming up. It's bad when you come back to my circle. Pardon? It's about time you got to my circle. <laughs> so, Hollingsworth Community Centre. <laughs> oh. Plug. On a Monday night, isn't it? Monday night, 7 till 9. I'm <laughs> always late when I never finish on time, but you're all welcome. <laughs> I'll stop plugging there. <laughs> so, that is your spiritual side. Okay, they said I'm done with the hand. I don't need to you can have your hand back now. See, it was a lady. But the like say, nah, she up a bit longer, we'll kill her. <laughs> so you have a male energy first that wants to just come through. Mm. And he's holding his arms folded as he's looking at you. <laughs> so you. You got some shit to sort out still. Yeah. Your hand is showing that everything is working fine. He says, it is, and it's going to. But you have to get your arse in touch and start moving forward again. <laughs> so you're still in a lot of emotional crap on your shoulders. Mm. And you get it sorted once, mm. and you get it sorted again. Don't listen to all of this negative crap around you. Mm. They're putting no issues around work, so you are happy. Long hours, but you're happy. Not so, as long as we're. <laughs> no, so you cut that bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the bit on the, the family side, I feel, where some things... <laughs> no, I'm not going to mention. I don't know who we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> don't put any names on there. <laughs> sort your shit out. Mm. But, and it's moving forward and moving back, it's just like schizophrenia, and, mm. and it really stresses your head out really, really mm. much. Mm. But you can only do so much worrying. Mm. And if they're old enough to live and be happy and have that independence, I've got to learn to do it. Mm. I don't think he'll be watching the light video. Really, yeah. No. No. So. <laughs> Not unless I show him. <laughs> yeah. But no, things are getting better around them. And the negative oh, side, <laughs> the spiritual negative side is kind of gone. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. It's just they don't know if they're going. Mm. And until that sorts itself out, you're still going to worry. But mm. they need to do more. If you're happy to do them, they're going to let you. Not to, yeah, no. they're going to let you. <laughs> and then, like, he's standing there like, Enough. Mm. We're not back into a song. <laughs> <laughs> we like singing. <laughs> Can't sing, but we like singing. But no, you got this song. 
Uh, that's what I'm saying there. Mm. And you I've said, heard that so many times. Yeah, he says, she say, hmm, but she won't. I try. Uh, because you have a good heart mm. and you like to help and care. Please stop. But then when it goes all tits off, you get the bother. Mm. Uh, that's and, true. And that's when it becomes like too much. Mm. The lady as she kind of moves <coughs> forward, just like, yeah, I hear you. She is, yeah. She ain't gonna do it. <laughs> try. But it's what I'm over now. You bend over backwards and do everything you can. Mm. And where I've got the house like me is the drum is the heart here. So, no, no, mum and dad, no, mum and dad, and Sam? Mm. Yeah. So, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, Sam. Oh, that's good. It's been a while since Germany. So, they're okay. He's smoking again. Who? Sam? Yeah. Your He's never smoked. Your mum's, um, Dad. Your dad. Oh, I know. <laughs> He's been banged out. <laughs> yeah. They just said, he ain't quit yet. No. But he enjoys a good puff. Mm. So he must enjoy it. He's done it all his life, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Point is quit, and I guess it's stressful when you quit. Right. So they're just looking, and as she's looking, there's no words coming out. So. <laughs> It's as if, like, I've said it all before, <laughs> you know. Mm. But she knows she was a strong lady. But she also knows that uh, you need to start sleeping again. Mm. Because <laughs> we say Kelly's on Facebook or whatever till early hours. Mm. But you just have to sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I get told off for the light of the phone. Mother lighter? <laughs> yeah. But it's <laughs> well, I've done till five to the morning. I, just, I don't know what time I typed in the post today. Was it an early one I did? Or? I can't remember. So, I was just tagging you in and I was chatting to a lady in Pennsylvania till three o'clock this morning. No, like, I'm, I'm playing games on my phone till, <laughs> till I run out of lives. <laughs> I, I go on messages, it's really active. They had to the show. <laughs> but you know, I'm always there to chat. Yeah. Early hours in the morning. Early hours in the morning. Yeah, they put the cat along and <laughs> So this lady says that uh, she doesn't need to say you're an okay or you, mm. you're not doing okay. Mm. You just need to be getting some of your life back on mm. track. But you're eating, you're in it back at the moment. Mm. The rabbit's gone now. What? Have you got, you've only got the little few rabbits now. Yeah, I thought you were going to say they were all going or something. <laughs> <laughs> she just put the rabbits in. No, I've got three. three. No, that's I think 21. <laughs> you know what rabbits are like. <laughs> I, I, I see Ben that out. The, the two boys. No, they're not. <laughs> so she has a... It's... I can't work her out. She stands there and you can see the... Love mm. comes from her, but she just looks and like, looking at her eyes, it's like I've screwed up. It's unusual because she's been chatting all day. Yeah. So, I don't know if she's an off day. It's supposed to have off days. I don't know. So, <laughs> but you don't need a ticking off or mm. anything else because you just. It's probably thinking, do what you're meant to do. Yeah. <laughs> you're probably like, well, yeah, you know she is thinking. She's looking at this like, in a way I've said all before. Mm. So, but there's no malice that comes from it. She's just looking like, you'll get there. Yeah, Everything's going to be okay. So you still got a little, you still got a bit of a hurdle. Mm. She makes that quite clear. He doesn't want to speak, and to be fair. He's not coming back home though, is he? No. It's all right then. Change the locks, ain't you? No. <laughs> But no, his head, it's, it's getting there. And the, over 20 years, it'll be settled. Mm, we got this. He's 90 November, so. 